Fly fishing has to be one of the most active, skillful and versatile forms of angling. From river to sea, from trout to tarpon, you can pretty much target any species at any type of venue on the fly. Historically, fly fishing has been dismissed by many as too difficult or stereotyped as a pursuit for only the wealthy and elite. However, at its core, fly fishing is incredibly accessible for all, incredibly affordable, and above all else, incredibly enjoyable. Now to showcase how awesome fly fishing is, I am meeting up with an incredible fly angling superstar, a lady who is not only an incredible fly angler, but has also achieved so much within the sport of fly fishing at such a young age. I'm talking about none other than Orvis and Angling Trust Ambassador, Marina Gibson. Enough of me talking, let's meet up with Marina, catch a few fish hopefully along the way, and inspire you to hopefully pick up a fly rod in the future. Marina Gibson, Hello. lovely to meet you, even in this socially so. distanced environment. <laughs> um, I've turned up at the car park, looking around for Marina Gibson, and I see your figure already fishing. Um, Fish aren't going to catch themselves, that's it. Very true, I need to be quick on the draw, I was doing my hair. Um, how are you feeling at the prospect of having to guide pretty much a carp angler in the finer aspect of the sport today? I'm really excited. Well, you've already told me that you've caught an 18 pound trout so i have caught some trout before i don't need to do anything today. well you say to that you. it will become apparent that you'll have to do quite a lot <laughs> now you've done some fishing you're definitely going to catch a few i'm very keen to get started so i'm going to get fishing and we're going to catch up with you later and talk specifics shortly perfect let's get fishing Well, 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 we've not been here long. Got a chat with Marina and a brief talk about tactics. I've got a damsel fly on, I've let it sink, and within a couple of casts, here we are, first trout of the day. No better feeling, I could get used to this. Brilliant guide, brilliant fishing. Well, fish number one, my first ever blue trout. Let's get him back resting in the net. A massive thank you all down to my expert guide, I have to say. Brilliant fun, brilliant fishing, and no doubt we're gonna get a few more. We're obviously social distance because of everything that's going on, but it's a great time. That and could can't be the get, catch of the day. You can't get a much better start, can you? It's a lovely, pretty trout. Let's get and back. blue. And you blue. know, I've only caught maybe one or two blues since I've fished this. I've been fishing here for three years, and that's a nice big blue. Oh, I will take that, Marina. Let's get them back and let's get fishing again. We've taken a brief break from the fishing to talk to the superstar that is Marina Gibson. Marina, I'm going to ask you a few questions. First of all, talk us through some of your career highlights thus far, because obviously you're still very young and still a lot to do. Well, it's been an interesting five years, I must admit. <laughs> yeah. I've been, um, I've been now guide instructing full time for three and a half years. Yeah. I launched the Northern Fishing School, which is only ten minutes away last year. And um, I've, I'm just obsessed with catching as many species as possible on yeah. the fly. Um, and also I like to dabble in other techniques and methods as well. So. Yeah, I've seen some incredible fish, tarpon, the likes of, and some unbelievable lovely locations as well. So it looks idyllic. Yeah, I can't get enough, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, just a new, always looking for a new destination or uh, trying to tick off something from the bucket list. But one of my proudest moments yeah. was catching a barbel on the fly the other day. Yeah, that is pretty epic. Yeah, and they're really cool fish. That they are really indeed. It. On the fly is special. Um, moving on, for you in terms of fly fishing, you've always been synonymous with fly fishing. Why fly fishing and not course fishing or carp fishing or any other aspect? I guess uh, it's sort of what, you, what you've been taught for me. Um, we did a lot of spinning and fly when we were growing up. It's something that my mother also was doing a lot of and is still doing a lot of, and my nice. father as well. Um, but it was sort of a, a mother-daughter thing that yeah. we carried on doing together, and we still do a lot of trips and days out on the water. That's lovely, really nice. Final question. 
For anybody who might be looking to get into fly fishing or beginners, what would your advice be? So I've always said, find your local fishery, find your local guide, yeah. um, get a day with them and uh, understand what you might like. You might like rivers, lakes, uh, you might like fishing for different species. Don't buy any kit until you know yeah. what you want to do. Um, and then, yeah, just learn off others. Go into your local fishery shops and, and uh, you know, ask them lots of questions and just yeah. keep asking questions. Perfect, love that. In terms of now, right here, enough talking, let's go fishing. Let's go. Still fighting. So I get a lot of questions about kit. Today I'm using a nine foot six weight. It's an Orvis Helios 3. It's a nice balanced outfit. That's really important when you uh, buy a setup. Hassan's on a nine foot five weight. He's using a different fly to me, but I'll talk about that in a minute. We're both fishing floating lines. We've got tapered leaders on the end of the fly line just by attaching with a perfection loop. Um, then we've got an, some extra tippet. It's important to add the tippet um, when it gets a little bit shorter. I've got lots of flies. I've got dry flies. I've got nymphs. I've got uh, lure bait fish patterns. Hassan is uh, fishing a gold-headed damsel, which is sinking a little bit. I'm using a dry fly, a little midge pa pattern. It's just important to, um, to be prepared for anything. And if you are confused about um, you know, what to buy in the beginning, just ask your local tackle shop. Whilst Widget was over there distracting Marina talking about casting, I've been out and managed to nick another take. A lovely, hard fighting rainbow as they all have been here. An incredible sport, I have to say. I could really, really get used to this. Here's another beautiful rainbow. We're not going to keep them out too long, we're going to make sure they go back strong. So let's get them back. So the main cast that we're using today is the overhead, and we're also adding a double pull uh, just to get those lines nice and efficient and uh, also help us um, cast into the wind. So um, with your overhead cast, all I'm doing is I'm lifting the line off the water so that I don't make a big splash when I come up. Okay, so just a, a gentle lift, just to, to above eye height. And then I'm gonna accelerate back to a stop, let the line unfurl behind me. And then when it's looking like it's just about to turn over, then that's my cue to come forward. So I'm gonna accelerate again to an abrupt stop. The stop allows my line to come forwards, unfurl, and then as soon as it's just about to turn over again, I'm gonna follow my rod tip down to the water. And my fish fishing position is, my rod tip is going to be just above the water so that you have all tension, so there's no slack line, and you're ready to connect with that fish. Epic. And there we have it, another beautiful rainbow. Marina, I've had such an enjoyable day. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for joining me. It's been good. I'm impressed with your skills. I'll take that. <laughs> um, what's important if you do go fishing, fish welfare is number one. <laughs> Sorry, did I get you wet? I know. And uh, 
always keep the fish in the water if you can for as long as possible and um, if it's catch and release get that fish back in the water quickly brilliant Should we release this fish we will do and i hope it inspires you guys out there to pick up a fly rod yourselves in the future off you go bye bye mr trout